All right, hello everyone. Welcome to my live stream. Uh, my name is Viet Nguyen, and uh, yeah, normally I make a uh, I make uh, custom toys. I make custom Funko Pops and action figures, and uh, I paint miniatures. But uh, today is my birthday. Yes, hello, so thank you for the birthday. Happy birthday wish. Um, yeah. So, hello. Uh, so today, instead of doing work, uh, tonight, instead of doing work, we're, we're, uh, unboxing some things that I bought. Ah, hello. Welcome back. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, we're, we're gonna keep it chill, keep it casual, and, uh, we're just gonna... Open up some stuff that I've bought since Christmas, <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, we'll start off with a... Hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. Uh, we'll start off with Marvel United. Right, this is a board game, right? It's got some really cool... Uh, it's got some really cute, like, chibi miniatures. Uh, this, uh, this was available on, on Kickstarter before, and, uh, so er, I pretty much got everything but the base game, and, like, all of the expansions and everything from the Kickstarter from the X-Men thing, there's, a uh, there's, like, over 200, maybe 300 miniatures in this game, and this is just the base game, and then, so I bought the base game, too, so I could collect everything. And so I already took the wrapper off of this. I haven't opened this yet. So. Alright, we got something from uh, Come On. That's the name of the, the company. We got our, our rule book. But, I mean, mostly I just want to take a look at the miniatures. Because uh, I just want, like, I really love painting miniatures. Like, so we got our, our little cardboard tokens. And here we are. Take a look what we got. So we got, we got our locations for the game. Right. And we got our little, little villain. Villain cards. Red Skull. And then we got your character cards. Got a little, uh... Got a little, uh, Cosmic Cube there. I don't know if I should turn this on or not. Yeah, these are our character cards. But alright, let's take a look at the minis. Let's see, we got, we got Ant-Man. He's like super cute, right? It'll be really fun, really fun to, to paint later on in the future. So we got Ant-Man. And then we got, we got Ultron. He's, he's our villain. The ones aren't in red. And uh, I have the list up, up below here. If there's anything you guys want to see that I want to go back to or you want to see again, feel free to let me know in chat. Uh, we got Taskmaster. Come on, focus. Focus. There we go. Taskmaster. We got we got Red Skull. I guess that's what the Cosmic Cube was for. I guess you we can glue the Cosmic Cube to his hand. Come on. Focus. There we go. Uh, 
And then we got, got Wasp. Now, uh, if you get the Walmart version, if you get the Walmart exclusive version, you don't get Wasp. You get Venom instead. And uh, the reason why I didn't get the Walmart version is uh, the expansion that I got with the um, with the Kickstarter uh, comes with Venom, but it doesn't come with Wasp. So I had to make sure I got a version that wasn't the Walmart exclusive. Uh, we got Captain Marvel. Sorry, my hands are all messy from sculpting. Four. Uh, Dondi's gonna want to want this one for sure. He's want to take a look at this one. We got our Hulk. This is gonna be a lot of fun to paint. We got Captain America. in America. They're, they're adorable. And then we have we have Iron Man. I like the I like the bases that they come with. Like they they put a lot of work into the bases. And finally, we have Black Widow with her little electric sticks, electric, uh, night sticks. So yeah, um, I played the game once on Tabletop Simulator, uh, and it was a, it was a, it was a good, it was pretty fun. Uh, haven't actually, uh, I don't know. I like. I don't usually play a lot of board games with a lot of people, but I am uh, looking forward to uh, the painting the miniatures and then uh, getting getting all this stuff together, and then getting like the X Men set. I'm getting the X Men set back in uh, probably like in September, I think. So. Looking forward to that. Why is it snap? There we go. Yeah. This is pretty pretty cool. It's a uh, I think it normal retail is about like thirty bucks. And uh, I, I managed to get it on sale. Or it's like thirty-five dollars, and uh, I managed to get this on sale at for thirty dollars. But uh, I look, f you'll uh, you'll see me painting a lot of these miniatures in the future. But anyways, uh, how's everybody doing? Okay, next up we have some Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, we have uh, we have Toph. This is the, the Diamond Select version. And uh, so uh, I know that McFarlane is, was making is making their own version. But I didn't know that before before I bought these, but I don't think they have they made top yet either. So I think it's it's okay, and and I think Diamond Select and and uh, I think Diamond Select and and uh, McFarland are the same scale. Fine, how are you doing? How's your birthday doing? Uh, birthday's been going well. Um, you know, we get, we got a lot of stuff done in the morning, and then um, uh, and then like uh, 
couldn't get chicken and waffles from Metro Diner. Um, we, I, I couldn't get it delivered through Uber Eats. So we ended up going to a place called Paisano's and we got calzones instead, which were just as tasty. And then some, somewhere along the line while Dr. Wife was asleep, or I thought she was asleep, she, she ordered a Cheesecake Factory to be delivered. So then we had cheesecake too. And then, unfortunately, I had to take her to work. And then, um, there's tape here. So, we've eaten pretty well. And then now we're just, uh, we're just open, opening up toys. I think, uh, to, to end the night. And I hope I hope all this the noise from taking opening these packages aren't too loud. What is keeping this thing from opening? Oh, okay. There's a little rubber band thing here. There we go. All right, we got our top figure. Got alternate hands. Yeah, so I hope this uh, watching me struggle opening in a box uh doesn't bother you i uh i don't plan on editing this at all <laughs> for later we're just gonna upload the stream to to youtube keep this super super casual because it's my birthday we're just hanging out All right, so the the arms are super skinny on this figure. So this is tough. The arms are really skinny. But I mean, this is the only tough action figure there is at the moment. So um, we got a little bit. A little bit of articulation in the shoulder. Not a whole lot. There's some there's some good articulation on the on the hips though. Like the hip hips uh, twist here. We got your legs. Double joints on the knees. Good articulation in the legs and the and the f the feet. Okay. Yeah, the, the hands look a little too small to me. Looks like you can alternate with the different bending hands. That's pretty cool. Everything gets on easy. And then uh, she's got her she's got her belt from her, her championship belt. That's pretty cool. She's got her open hands, and then looks like we got... How does this connect? I guess that just goes down on the bottom. Yeah, 
not not a bad figure. Um, probably could use some 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 uh, some paint to uh, to add to the shading. But uh, other than that, I think uh, I think she looks pretty good. Alright, let me set her off to the side here. Put all of these accessories in a bag so it doesn't go missing. All right, and uh, like I said, uh, I have the list down below here. Uh, if there's anything that you want to see again or anything you want a closer look at, uh, feel free to let me know. Uh, but next up, we have Zuko, also Diamond Select. Diamond Select Toys. Uh, I'm not sure what series number it is. I'm here for the boxing. Hell yeah, Bumble. Welcome in. How are you doing? Greetings, sir. Greetings to you. I I am full. I'm full of calzone, and uh, calzone and cheesecake. So what we ended up getting when uh, when Doctor Wife woke up, and then from there we got took her to work. That was a really cool fireball. Diamond Select, you like the the bending accessories are really cool. Then we got we got our stand here. Got a Zuko figure. That's an impressive fireball, right? I guess it goes here and then there should be like a peg somewhere ah here it is so that'll be where the the fireball goes So then, like, Jason Enos, what is up, friend? Welcome, welcome. Uh, we are doing an unboxing stream. Uh, basically, just opening up all these action figures that I bought over the year. Uh, over the past year that I haven't opened yet. Uh, and it's my birthday. So, that's what we're doing tonight. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool, right? Like, uh, it's got a cool stand for the, for the fire blast. That we can just kind of, little fire bend. Do some fire bending action. Doing all that kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. I only have a quick sec to see, to see you last time. I thought I should drop by longer. And happy birthday, thank you. Um, yeah, so we're keeping it casual. We're just opening up a bunch of a bunch of toys. Uh, I got the list uh, down below here. Um, uh, so let's take a look. Zuko's pretty good. Not bad on the hair sculpt. Little little plain at the top here. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go and say and be like I can do a better job, but. <laughs> But I'm also not mass producing them. Um, the 
pretty good shoulder articulation. Again, like the these these arms seem really tiny, like really thin. I mean, awesome toys are cool. Yeah, yeah. Jason Jason's a good dude. He's a he's a great artist, and uh, I uh, I've rated to his streams a few times. Uh, we got some we got wrist to. Uh, didn't come with a lot of like alternate hands like the uh like the top figure. Um and then uh I I do like they have like kind of like the rubber uh like the rubber clothes. Cause then like um like you can you can kinda have it out, you know, like a uh, wrist action. Yes. And then um Good art again, a good articulation on the legs, like uh like the top figure. We got double jointed double jointed uh double jointed double joints on the knees. Got articulation in the, the ankles, good for, for posing and stuff like that. Not bad. Accessories away. Yeah, last um the last unboxing stream I did was like uh, Christmas Eve, <laughs> so I I pretty much haven't opened anything that I bought since then. You remind me, you remind me of me testing my Rubik's cube to test the twisting. <laughs> okay, what's next? What's next? Um. Okay, next up is, uh, we're doing My Hero Academia figures. These are made by McFarlane. Uh, this is Tenya Ida. I see just disassemble Rubik's Cubes. I took it apart and it's sand mold marks off, wow. Yeah, so this is a. I don't know if you guys watched uh, My Hero Academia, but he's like the, he's like the speedster guy. Like he's got like these little, um, he's got like exhaust in his legs. I don't remember his. Uh, I don't remember his code name. It's like Turbo or something like that. Looks like he comes with a uh, with a stand. He's got a stand here. I have like no nails. So looking forward to the next few opens. Nice. Yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. It's a good lineup. I'm not even sure if you know any of these characters, Bumble. But I appreciate I, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Even though I think it's... Uh, I was just like, why do people want to see me open toys? So, get some accessories. I know them all really, just not much about them. <laughs> Jason's got the be right back, okay. McFarlane used to be used to be really terrible about articulation. Like the the figure, like the spawn figures, always look pretty cool, but the articulation used to be like awful. And um, 
Okay, now I've got the ad. <laughs> Aw. Um, but, uh, they've gotten better. Like, they ever like, with these, uh, these McFarlane figures and, like, the DC figures, they've gotten, um, they've gotten better about their articulation. Alright, so... Not a huge fan. Like, I... See, I'm not sure with ads. Even on streams, I don't sub to. I never get ad breaks during the streams. Oh yeah, because you're, um, you're, you're international. It's more of an American thing. American people get ads. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can see... Like, he normally wears glasses, right? I mean, it's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a cool cheat, right? Because it looks like he's, looks like he's wearing glasses, right? But it's, um, uh, it's just like an empty frame. But he had to refresh. Boom. Treats me like a new viewer. Oh, how dare they? Um, okay. So yeah, not not a fan of the head sculpt. But it's okay. We can always we can always customize that, right? We can switch that up. So we got Yeah, th there's some uh good good motion in the in the shoulders. He's got He's got the hands good for uh for like the runny motion, right? Nice uh, swivel joint on the on the on the torso. But yeah, yeah. So this guy's a speedster, right? So like, you gotta have him in a in like a running a running pose. So it looks like we can do that. So he's got these exhausts. We can put those on. This reminds me of my morning workout. I don't work out. <laughs> Neither. I work out all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. He's got some. I would work out if I had exhausts coming out of me. I was like a speedster, and he looks like he's got a uh, he's got some alternate hands here. And I really I really like his mask, and it, he doesn't actually wear his mask a lot in the in the anime, but I really like that mask. So swap out the head. Decapitation, uh, count one for my stream. That's a normal occurrence on my stream. Yeah, true. If I was the Flash, I'd be running all day and never use public transport, right? Oh, I think... It might be this one. bad. It's a not pretty good figure. Just gotta get him running. Looks better with the mask on. Yeah, for sure. I definitely like prefer mask on.
Yeah, he's kind of like the, the straight arrow, like, leader type character on My Hero Academia. All right. Next up, we got another My Hero Academia figure. I actually got this for my birthday. Uh, this came in the mail yesterday. Uh, it is a uh, eraser head. Also, uh, Shota Aizawa. He is like the the teacher. He's the teacher of the class for My Hero Academia. And apologies if the if the noise from the from opening everything is too loud. OMG, so loud. Oh no. I'm sorry. My mic might be picking up all that, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to pull everything off. Over, off to the side. <laughs> Oh, you're just j joking. Okay. <laughs> like, my bad. Sorry. Jason with the Tom. Ooh, that Jason. Always with the fooling Tom Murray. Make it easy to get out. Good lord. No, it's not loud at all. Okay, good. Alright. We got Aizawa. Um, and uh, our friend Steen, uh, if you ever see her husband Scott, he, he cosplays as this guy. Um, I really like the, the paint job. The paint job's really good on this. Like, you can even see, like, his, uh, besides it's your birthday, aw. You can kind of see that he has, like, bloodshot eyes. He's like a, he's a sleepy, sleepy dude. And then we got, we got it so where he's using his powers and stuff. Be loud, it's your birthday! True. Uh, we got him in the, in the shades, and then we got one with, uh, his binding cloth. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like, I wish it would be more flexible, but that's that's pretty cool. That um, I could probably line it, line this with wire, so then it's like more poseable, where like you can kind of flex it and move it around. So that that'll be like a future project. Who is this? This is a uh, Aizawa, a uh, racer head. He's like um, he's a uh, the teacher. On My Hero Academia. And like his power is he could. Um, he could like erase your power. For as long as he can keep his eyes open. Or something like that. Which is why like his eyes are kind of bloodshot. So he can activate the power. But if he blinks like you. Uh, um, you, you get your power back. 
Um, one cool thing about about the My Hero figures is um, they kind of they have like a rubber like rubberized cloth, right? Like it doesn't look so it doesn't look like there's any articulation in the torso, but there actually is like a good amount, right? Like there's there's some bending and swiveling, and like it's kind of cool with the rubber cloth that like it just covers it all all the articulation up, so that kind of helps with with like posing and stuff so you don't see like a lot of the joints with the with the action figures so the torso seems like a little long though to me like it, it doesn't fit the head in my opinion yeah let's see what it looks like with the other head and the with the binding cloth so like he can unravel unravel these uh these cloths or like the the scarf and then like it can like go straight and then like it can grab things like it's it's pretty universal it's pretty cool looking like it doesn't doesn't make any sense physics wise but it's a it's a pretty cool thing I've gotten a lot better. It's gotten a lot better aesthetically with figures these days. The materials they use, you said that they have rubber plastic looking stuff. Looks more realistic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like the I like the the shades look and then like we can kind of have like the floating like the floating binding cloth. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, um, so yeah, uh, like I said, we're, we're just kind of going down the list. Uh, so if there's anything you want to see again or anything you want uh, to take a closer look at, you let me know. Alright, up next we have Carnage. It's from uh, a Venom. Uh, it's like a, the, the Build-A-Figure is a Venom pool. Um, I mostly got this carnage for parts, to be honest. I got it. I got it on sale, and like there's a there's a character on My Hero Academia that has like these little. Um, he kind of has uh, it's a character named Overhaul, and uh, I want to make that guy, and he's got like he's got arms that that could really use these. Uh, these that I can use like for parts I got it for like 10 bucks and like normally they're like retail for these are like 20 so a steel yeah mess all right so this goes in the back here nice rubbery uh tentacle symbiote like things yo i can't stay long sitting up for my stream but want to say hi hey shono what is up man Uh, yeah, we're just we're just uh, we're doing an unboxing stream. We're just uh, opening up my my Marvel Legends figures that I bought over the year, the past year that I haven't opened yet. And uh, we got Carnage here. I'm not sure what version of Carnage this is. Um, he's got like a swirly on his on his. And then he's we got the more classic classic carnage head. 
right there. It's pretty cool. I got like two of these. Like I got them on like for sale. Cause like uh, I'm gonna use use them for parts really. I've never been like a huge Venom Carnage guy. And then the build the figure comes with a, a Venom pool. It's what it, what it's supposed to come with. That I'll probably resell <laughs> for people that just want the the build a figure piece. Get some money back there. Yeah, we're just uh chilling out on birth birthday night. What are you uh, what are you doing for your stream, Shano? All right. Uh, next up, we are next on the list is uh, we have Miss Marvel. All right, this is uh, Kamala Khan. Swirly head is from Absolute Carnage Story. Okay, I don't know more. I didn't read it. Okay, Happy Birthday! Thank you. Yeah, well, what's what's going on on Chono stream? We might raid over to you whenever we're done unboxing. I feel I don't know. It's still weird. I'm not used to doing this, <laughs> so we're just kind of going through, just opening toys and just kind of hanging out. I was like, I have no idea if this is entertaining at all, but we're doing it. Where whether going to do MC Escher Harley Quinn or Notorious from Dark Souls, depending on what everyone votes on. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So we got we got Kamala Khan here. We got the alternate. And beginning hands. So like uh, Kamala Khan is an inhuman. And uh, she has the power to uh, change like change the sides and and um, and uh, change the sides of her body parts and stretch and all that kind of stuff. And these are um, these are build a figure pieces. So, like, once you get the set, you put it together, right? And that's kind of how they get you. <laughs> so, this is supposed to build, like, um, an abomination. I think. Yep. This, uh, there's abomination right there. That's what it builds. Um... So there's there's two different versions. Like I have the older version of Miss Marvel. Um, I I really like the head sculpt. The head sculpt on here is really good. And then uh, like this is a uh, this is kind of rubberized right here, but it looks like there's not really any articulation at the waist. And then, um, but there, there is articulation in the upper part of the torso. Um, we got shoulder articulation here. And like the, the original Marvel Legends one that I had. Um, looks like you can re you can remove the forearms to switch out. Um... Switch out the uh, the embiggened arms. That doesn't bend too well. Yeah, that's pretty neat.
again with the with the scarves. I like that it's rubberized, and then like I said, if I if I line it with wire, I can probably get it so it's like kind of posed out like in the wind. And I got this for, again, I'll, like, I got a bunch of these for, for cheap, uh, because I, uh, I like, um, like, to make a lot of the My Hero Academia characters, I need a lot of, like, a teenage, teenager, uh, body styles, and, uh, so these, uh, these will come in handy. So how would you go about go uh, adding wire, Viet? Um... So like um so basically I have this um I have like soldering wire. Uh where's my soldering wire? So you, basically you would just get get like soldering wire like this, right? And um and then I would just kind of just glue it on the inside here. You just kind of glue it on the inside there and then just kind of paint over it like so it, it kind of blends in. And as long as it's on the inside or like on the bottom where like people can't really see it and then but then you just paint it to uh to for it to blend in i've seen people do it with fabric like with like a batman cape and things like that where they actually line the wire like on the edges again if i just had infinite amount of time <laughs> i would do that And uh, I don't plan on building Abomination, so we're gonna, we'll probably sell those build a figure pieces too. All right, what's next on the list? Next on the list is the Punisher. And this is the, um, I think this is the what version of? It's that eighty years. 80 years of Marvel Legends, right? So it's again. Uh, I think I got it on on sale. I was like, Punisher is always a good figure because it always comes with like a bunch of guns and like accessories. And I was like, I'm sure I could use these. So like basically, like if I find them for, if I can find them for like 10 bucks or less, I'll usually just snag them so I can have I can use for parts. Head out for a bit, see you. No worries, Jason. Thanks for stopping by. Jason, happy birthday again. Thank you. Uh, right now we're on, we're on the Punisher, Christine. Um. I did, I did open, I did open Toph and Zuko if you want to see those. Uh, but we're just going down the list in order that I have it up there. So if there's anything that you want to see, uh, let me know. It will have to reverse and show those My Hero Academia figures. <laughs> so many figures, yeah. But yeah, anybody, anybody that sees anything on the list... Um, above Punisher. Uh, I can take them out again. Just let me know. That's gotta be loud for you guys. <laughs> Is this loud for me? Anyways, um, I thought he was wearing a jacket, but I guess he's not. He's like wearing a vest. He's got all kinds of uh, kinds of stuff on his belt. 
Kind of weird articulation. Um, so he's got the, the torso. But like the, the vest kind of keeps it from twisting too much. And kind of the, your standard Marvel Legend arm movements. Shake those hips. Might have to see that Toph and Eraser head. Okay, we'll do that. <clears throat> As a pretty pretty solid figure, like paint and sculpt wise. <clears throat> so he's got the the painted head, and then he's also got the like solid snake look. Yeah, it's got a lot going on. Yeah, like this there's, there's some really good details with the <clears throat> with the weapons and the like you can't take them out, but um Yeah, this I don't think this gun comes out. Nope. That that's just part of the belt. But he comes with uh looks like he comes with a, a pistol and like a big sniper rifle. And a machine gun. Yeah, he's got he's got that solid snake head, right? If I were to make a solid snake action figure, I can uh, I could use this use this head. All right, uh, you wanted to see Toph and Eraser, right? Okay, so this is, here's our Toph. Her, her arms are really tiny. They're like really, really tiny. But she does come with, uh, she does come with this, uh, uh, like her, her little, little bending here. She's got that for her earth bending. They give her... They also come with... She's a really young girl, yeah. She's got her championship belt. And then it comes with, like, a bunch of alternate hands. Um, there's, like, some alternate hands with, uh, with rocks on them. For, for bending. I didn't realize the belt is in there. Yeah, yeah, the belt is cool. And I think it... I don't think it... I think it actually does clip. I don't know if it actually goes around her waist or not. At least not like in... Uh, there's like holes for them. But I'd have to look at it. For her to actually wear the belt. That's beautiful. I haven't opened mine. But yeah, it, it's, it's a cool figure. Like I said, I, I think the I think the arms are a little too tiny, but overall it's a it's a it's a good figure. And then you said you want eraser head, right? Um, so this is this is eraser eraser head. Uh, it's it's a solid figure um i was saying like he's got a he's got like a like he has rubberized clothing so it doesn't look like he has articulation right but yay my husband though yes but like uh there's like all kinds of uh all kinds of uh articulation to it despite like just because like the it's like a rubberized like jacket over over all the articulated parts so that's that's pretty cool and the the binding cloth here right is really loose and you could probably use deceptively bendy yeah so you can use the the binding cloth uh i think it only unravels up to here uh and i was like saying you could easily like line it with wire 
if you really wanted to like depose it and do that kind of stuff. And then it comes with, uh, it has an alternate, like a fully, like a full on cloth here, like a wound cloth. And then uh, he's got his, his regular. And like the, I don't know if you can see, like there's even like some bloodshot paint to the eyes. It's a it's a good figure. I actually got this for for actually as a birthday gift. Happy birthday, Viet! I gotta run. Have an awesome night. You deserve it. Thank you, Shono. Yep. Yeah, uh, definitely give Shono a follow. Uh, we we'll probably raid over to his stream if he's still. Um. If he's still streaming, he probably will be. His art streams are, are super fun. Okay, we finished Punisher. What's next on the list? Squirrel Girl. All right, we got unbeatable Squirrel Girl. Marvel Legends. I got this for Christmas, actually. <laughs> and uh, I actually got it, ended up getting it after after Christmas Eve, which was my last unboxing stream, which is why I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> yeah, she's got like a scooter and everything. Right? And she's even got like some squirrel, squirrel friends. And uh, if you haven't, uh, if you want like a book that's um, that's very, um, if you just want like a fun Marvel book that that like you don't really need to know much about about like the Marvel universe kind of thing, I highly recommend reading Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. It is a lot of fun. Heard a lot of good things about Squirrel Girl. Yeah, she she's such a fun character. Like you you like she she started off as being like a joke, and she still kind of is. Like she's mostly used for for comic relief, right? But she's she's badass in her own way. And who doesn't love squirrels? <laughs> yeah, Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom does not love squirrels. I like that background. It's like a good background for like a diorama. It's nice. I don't know what I would use this for, but. Okay, let's, uh, let's take these figures out. When I, um, I made a custom, custom, uh, Squirrel Girl figure a while back. It's got a little kickstand. 
It actually turns. So it actually steers. That's pretty cool. See, if it were me, I'd be setting her up with a scooter and all the bits. Get a diorama facing the sun through a window and take some photos. That's a good idea, Bubble. I may steal that idea. You do take some really good pictures, Bumble. I may need to... get some photo advice from you. Got a little horn. Here's one of the squirrels. Thank you, photography is my second hobby. We got squirrel number one. We got squirrel number two. There we go. And I think, I think her name is Chip. What's the name of, um, what's the name of her squirrel companion? Like, she, uh, Squirrel Girl can actually talk to squirrels. But that, there's like a specific one that likes her companion, and that's this one. I don't remember her name. But yeah, that's... Pretty rad. Um, let's see. There's not much, uh... I'm, like, there's already some glue here, and you can already see that it's a little loose. Like, there's not much articulation with the tail. But... We can fix that. I'm not a huge fan of the head sculpt. Like, I think they could do better. Like, I might swap out making a different head to go with it. It's okay. Sideways. Hey, Viet. Just want to pop in and wish you a happy birthday. Thank you, Sideways. I appreciate it. Uh, we're just doing an unboxing stream. We're just opening up a bunch of action figures that, that I bought over the year. <laughs> that I haven't opened yet. Tippy Toe. That's, that's the name of of the squirrel companion, Tippy Toe. That's Tippy Toe. But other than that, like the the sculpt, the head sculpt on the sculpt on this figure looks really good. Um, it kind of needs. I think it needs like some kind of uh, needs some kind of peg so you can do um, you can do like a flight stand, you know, so you can do uh, do some cool dynamic poses.
They really make it so you can't feel these. Like, parts. Alright, we got Cyclops. He's got, he's got his, you know, his hands where he can, um, he can hold his visor. That's pretty cool. I know, I know we're, we're not huge Cyclops fans in here. Good, good paint job. Alright, this is, this is the, his House of X, uh, costume, which I'm okay with. And then you can swap out with, uh, Oh, jeez. Where'd it go? Houston, we've lost a head. Not how to get ahead in life. I think it went out of the tiger. Alright, hang on. Get it later. That is MIA. Quick, Lukey. Yeah. Hopefully, Luke won't get to it. Oh well. Uh, well, that was, the other head was supposed to have a uh, an optic blast where you can put that in, which is kind of cool. Um. Anyways. Remind me at the end of the stream <laughs> to go look for that. For that head. But yeah, we don't care about we don't care about Cyclops, anyways. So it comes with the the right arm to the Tri Sentinel, and let's see. Next up, we have Jean Grey. Christine is also not a huge fan of Jean Grey. I think mostly because because she doesn't like Cyclops, but I could be wrong. No, you love Jean. Okay, you just don't like Cyclops. Gotcha. But Jean Grey has ginger hair. Yeah. She's got horrible taste in men. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hurt Shono's feelings again. Cyclops is a boy. Comes with the the leg. To the tri sentinel. See this is how they get you. Like they there's always a build a figure. So you have to buy the whole set. And it's there's always one or two that you just don't really care about. And you have to get them all. Or you can just find them on eBay or something. Or if you just want the if you want the figures, you can usually sell the build a figure on eBay, and then you can get some money back, which is what I usually do. No offense to Shono, he's a, yeah, Shono's a great guy. Horrible taste in X Men, but <laughs> Shono's a great guy. I never understood, like, all the, most of the characters usually have new, have newer costumes, right? But, like, sh for some reason, Jean Grey decided to, like, no, I'm going back to my Marvel Girl costume. 
Which, I mean, it's okay. You know, it's not my favorite one, though. But it's interesting that that she went with... No one's perfect. <laughs> this is true. Um, a little odd. Like, I don't know if you see here, right? They specifically... They specifically kept an opening to show the ear. And I have no why that costume is cute. <laughs> like, why do they do that? Like, who who has a hole in their hair? Like, they didn't do that for this side. Jeans had a lot of crazy outfits. Yeah, this is your... Yeah, like, what's up with that? What's up with that hole in the hair? Does she have ear powers? No, she's a she's a te she's a telepath. She has tele uh, telepathy and telekinesis. Um, this uh this skirt is pretty tough. Like it is not very flexible at all. So, I mean, most of the time you're just going to have her, like, like, mind zapping people. But that is not flexible at all. <laughs> like, you can barely, you can barely bend it. It's like, almost like hard plastic and not like rubber. Say it to my good ear, Viet. <laughs> yes. And um, so in House of X, this is a nice touch. House of X, uh, they use like they plant these flowers like to make these portals that that go everywhere. So that's a nice touch that they added this accessory. That's a that's a nice touch. All right. Uh, what's next on the list? Magneto. This is Magneto in his white costume. They have they've made many Magneto uh, figures, but they haven't made him in in the white costume yet. And uh, he had this costume. Uh. He had this, like, uh, when Brian Michael Bendis was writing X-Men. That was a really good run. Alternate hands. I love I love when they give these give these options. As a customizer, this uh this adds to my my inventory. I'm always for figures that give alternate hands and accessories. It's a slick looking magneto, yeah. These are the okay. The heads of the of the Tri Sentinel. The Tri Sentinel wasn't even that big of a deal in the book. It's kind of weird that they made they made that like that to build the figure. The mask does not come off. And he doesn't come with a... He doesn't come with an alternate, like, masks... Maskless head. Um, the cape is... Cape sculpt is good. The kind of a flexible rubbery. 
Like, this is actually softer, uh, like, more flexible than Jean's skirt. <laughs> Jean Grey's skirt. Um, one thing that's a little different about these is, uh, most of the time with, uh, with Marvel Legends, they usually have a joint right here on the wrist, right? So where it goes up and down like that. But, uh, this one, it's like the joint is here and here. So it, it like the joint moves up and down like that. So that's, that's different. I guess it, it does hide the joint better that way. But I don't know. I don't know if I like that better or not. Cause sometimes like you, you kind of want it like, like where he's like, like, uh, like kind of clenching his fist, you know, like that. You can't really do that. But I do have hands I could swap it out with. Yeah, and it's the the tri sentinel, right? So that's why it has three heads. It's like Cerberus. All right, next up is Moira, Moira McTaggart, and um. I never thought I would um, I would ever want a Moira McTaggart action figure. You're like, why would I care about Moira McTaggart? She's just like a scientist. But in the House of X book, it had made her like 20 times cooler. <laughs> I won't spoil it, Christine. But uh, she's like a badass now. And... And I think you'll you'll like her as a character once you read House of X. And, uh, I think she's Scottish? Scottish or Irish? I think Scottish. Moira. Moira is is an Irish name. Okay. Yeah, see, this this skirt is uh the skirt is more flexible than the Jean Grey one. I like I like the glasses. The glasses are, are a cool accessory. And then so she she actually she has like her journal from the series, but she is Scottish apparently. Okay, and then so like she she has an alternate look. She has like a so she can um, so she has her scientist look, and then you can take off the jacket. See how easy it is to remove the arms. It's pretty easy, actually. It's not a it's not a Viet stream until there's some dismemberment. They're probably like, eh, close enough. <laughs> yeah. So you see, got a uh, little handkerchief there. A little alternate look. We got... This is like Bar Barbie territory here. We got casual Moira. 
and Science Moria. That's pretty cool though. Like they usually don't, they usually don't give you that m many options when it comes to action figures. See what next next on the list is uh omega sentinel so she omega sentinel was uh was like on the x-men for a little bit and then now she's not she's a sentinel Sentinels don't like the mutant. Cleaning all this stuff up is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm just like throwing the boxes behind me, like on the couch. Alright, so we got you got the torso to the to the tri sentinel. It's like an alternate or alternate like waifu head almost. <laughs> I don't even know what to call that. Like, what do you, what do you even call I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I don't know what it's actually called, but we're gonna call it the waifu head. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so the shoulder... Like, there's a shoulder pad, right? But it covers up the joint. But, like, it... It's rubberized, so... You still got all your articulation with the shoulder. Ultimate waifu head. I'm not sure if that's... F no, that, I don't think that's for the Tri-Sentinel. Right, so... And then, so she's got... She's got alternate, um... Alternate gun arms. Very, very Mega Man like. With these, uh, you have to be careful with these joints. Sometimes they stick. And then sometimes you can risk like breaking off the joint in the, in the figure. Totally for the Tri-Sentinel now. <laughs> the waifu head? I was like, I don't think there's anywhere to put it. So we got... Oh yeah. We got the waifu head. Waifu Sentinel. <laughs> All she really needs is like a Lolita dress, like the the French maid dress, and we can we can make an anime out of this character. Alright, next up is Professor X. Professor X with his uh his giant round cerebro mask. 
It's like a gumball shape. Like so they they made a they made they made Charles Xavier like in the with the regular wheelchair and they made him with the hover chair. And like I get it, right? Like Professor and this might make me sound terrible. And I'm okay with that. But just like I know he's, like, important for, like, posing with the team, but, like, honestly, like, Charles Xavier as an action figure, like, you're not really doing much with Charles Xavier, besides you're just getting him to look at things, because he's, like, a telepath, and he's in a wheelchair, so, like, what are you gonna do if you were a kid playing with the Charles Xavier figure? <laughs> I know, it. I know, it's terrible. I shouldn't, we shouldn't, shouldn't say that about the disabled like that. <laughs> it looks, comes with the, with the arm here. But, at least he's, Charles Xavier is walking again. He argues with Magneto, that's what he does. He's just like, hey Magneto, you should do this. But they're, I, they're actually working together in, uh, in House of X. Um, there's some good details in that, that helmet here. Good sculpt work there. And then, um, this is one thing that they haven't done, uh, with the uh, Professor X ones, X figures, is, uh, they haven't done this this is a cool extra detail of like him using his telepathy. Right? He's got this uh clear plastic here. Like he's he's emitting his his uh telepathic waves. And then he's got he's got the alternate head where he's like he can like you can pose him where he's like so you can Put it to his, to his head. It's really in thought. Brain waves, yeah. Right? That's pretty cool. So if yeah, if you're you're uh, you're a House of X fan, if you're a Hickman fan, these figures are pretty solid. Everything else is a uh, pretty standard. On this figure, though. All right, last one of the night before we build the Tri Sentinel. We got Wolverine in his House of X costume. This one actually doesn't come with uh, doesn't come with any build a figure parts. Oh, and um, will be yeah. And if you see these symbols, this is Crick Cohen, right? And um, and they actually took the time to um have a translator. Like you can get a translator and you can um you can translate what this says. I'm pretty sure it says Wolverine. But there's like Krakow and it has a like is it they made like its own language. They they sat there and took the time to do that. He needs no other parts to get people to buy him, yeah. There's so many Wolverines. Oh my god. There's so many Wolverine figures. Like I'm probably going to get rid of it. I'm probably going to sell this one. I just have too many Wolverines. 
I don't need the full ring. Like, what's your what's your favorite Wolverine costume, Christine? Or anybody in the chat, any X Men fans, who's what's your favorite Wolverine costume? I personally like the Jim Lee, like brown, brown and tan costume. It's my that one's my favorite. But tripping on wolvies. Um, but I I like I like the build of him. Like he's short, right? That's how he should be. The the claws are really good compared to the the old the old Wolverine figures. Like they're more they look more sharp and sturdy. Um Yours is the the brown one costume. Yeah, these these claws are good. I like these claws. I'll probably swap these out with uh with my brown my regular Jim Lee one. But I like the I like it the stature of him, right? He he's short and stocky, like he's supposed to be. And then uh, looks like an old man version, like he's got a beard on on this alternate head. Not a bad figure though. He's got his uh, squigglies for for it because he's a hairy dude. Yeah, it's not it's not a bad looking figure, to be honest. Maybe I won't sell him. All right, uh, that's everything on on my list actually. <laughs> We've got like a little over an hour and a half. All right, let's put together this sentinel. So we got a torso, and we have this is the left leg. Build the Sentinel. Got some legs. Wait, what? Okay. Does it matter which one goes to what? I don't think so. Make it easy. Like, it doesn't stay in very well. Alright, we got our, we got our Tri-Sentinel. So we got three, three heads. Pretty good articulation.
It's almost like like an Eva, Eva from Neon Gen Genesis. A little, little more metallic looking though. Pretty cool looking figure. All right, I think that's it. Um, does anybody want to see anything else on the list again? Otherwise, we might just call it. I don't, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> like, I could, I guess I could paint miniatures. I was wondering why Eva fan designed it. Yeah. I was like, this looks very Eva like. Eva like. Oh, thank you for the bits, Christine. Um, I don't know. Uh, Christine, do you want to see the the Marvel United uh, miniatures? Uh, I have like the base set. I don't know if you wanted to see those again, or if you wanted to see those. Ooh, sure. Okay. We can do that. So yeah, we got... I did that in the beginning, right? We got Marvel United here. These look, uh, these look pretty, look pretty legit. Um, so yeah, we got, um, yeah, so we got Black Widow. I really like the terrain that, um, uh, the base is too. We got Black Widow. We got, we got, we got the Iron Man. Pardon my messy hands from Sculpt. Yeah, Iron Man. We got... We got Cap. He's so chunky. Then we got lots of good details in them, yeah. They're gonna be so. They're gonna be a lot of fun to paint. And then we got our Hulk. Then we got Captain Marvel. And then we have Wasp. I've always liked minifigures. Yeah. So. If you want to get the Wasp, you have to make sure you get a version of this game that's not the Walmart exclusive. Because, like, the the Walmart exclusive has Venom instead. And then we got, we got Red Skull. And he actually has, like, a, a cosmic cube that you can glue to his hand here. And then we got Taskmaster. There's some really good detail, even though they, like they they're like kind of chibi, right? And we got uh, we got Ultron. Come on, focus. And then finally we have the Ant Man. Looks like he's on a... Oh, he's on an American Quarter. I don't know if you can tell from there. It's the, the tail side of an American Quarter. That's pretty cool. But yeah. 
that's pretty much everything. Nice. <laughs> to be fair, the most details I've seen figures that size. Yeah. Yeah, they're really they're really cool. Um Oh, I did um I did finish uh I did finish uh I did finish my Marvel Crisis Protocol uh Black Widow. So, here she is. So we finished her not too long ago. I might attempt to give her eyebrows. So we just finished painting her. I'm going to attempt to give her eyebrows, but that might be way too hard. <laughs> this thing's tiny. But yeah, I think uh, I think that's it, y'all. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming to my my unboxing stream. I, d I don't know if if this was any fun for anybody, but I like doing it, and uh, and I'm getting rid of a bunch of box space in my in my nerd room. So uh, thank you all for for coming. Uh, who are we gonna raid? Are we gonna raid? Are we gonna raid Shono? We'll probably raid Shona. Let's see who's who's streaming right now. I thought it was cool. Good. I'm glad. It's a nice change of pace. Yes. It was a nice nice break, I think. Like part of me thought like doesn't want to brag like like look at all the stuff I bought. <laughs> you know? But most of them I bought on sale and and all that good stuff. Um, let's see, who is streaming that we can raid? I only have three people watching, but... But yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and raid over to Shono, I think. Or... Ooh, Chiro. Chiro's streaming. He's, uh, he's streaming Castlevania. And we never, I never get to, I never get to raid to Shono. So I think we'll raid over Shono. Shono, Shono is an amazing comic artist. Good buddy. But yeah. Um, again, thank you so much for, for coming out on this, uh, this birthday stream. Uh, I will be back doing, doing commission work on Sunday night. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, guys. I, I really appreciate it. And and thank you so much for the artwork, Christine and Bumble. Uh, you, you guys really know how to make a guy feel loved. Um, but yeah, we're gonna raid over to Shono. And thank you for the, for the birthday wishes. Thank you, Steen, for the, for the, for the bits. And, uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll catch you on Sunday. Hopefully. And yeah, uh, again, uh, wash your hands, get vaccinated, take care of each other. All right, so uh, have a good night, have a good weekend. We'll see you on Sunday. Bye bye. Practice good oral health. Yes. <laughs> All right. Bye everybody. Never know if this couch plays left of the game.